welcome to the first installment of Tasty Treats and Tech Talk, where I talk about something new in tech while baking a tasty treat. If you like technology and you also like baking, please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications because I will be posting new content for you every single week. I am super excited about this video because I get to finally break down the Spotify car thing while also baking a chocolate chip cookie from the Smitten Kitchen. The recipe will be linked in the description below. Now let's dive in. Now for those of you who haven't heard, Spotify is rolling out its first physical product called the car thing. And this is a pretty interesting move. It's not every day that you see a pure app, technology, streaming service move into the physical goods space. So I was really interested to dig more into this to see what their strategy was. Now Spotify describes the car thing as a smart streaming device that you can clip into your car and it's voice activated and will help you stream music without getting distracted while you're driving. Now, although it's not generally available just yet, it's speculated that this device will eventually cost people $80. Now, I personally found this fascinating because one of the most impressive features of Spotify's is its great integration into car infotainment systems. So it seemed really interesting that Spotify would go a step further and create their own somewhat competitive product in the car thing. So let's talk about the specs of the Spotify car thing. So it is 4.8 inches wide. It connects to your phone via Bluetooth and it does need to be charged in your car. So it has an actual cord that you have to plug in when you use it. It does have voice activated technology so you can get its attention by saying, hey Spotify. And it also has a touch screen as well as physical dials that you can adjust as you're driving, which will hopefully reduce distraction that can sometimes come along with touching an actual touch screen. So it seems like the Spotify car thing was built for people who have old enough cars that don't have a built-in infotainment system, which I find really interesting because it makes me question the longevity of this car thing product because each year more and more cars will have these built-in infotainment systems. <laughs> So because I wasn't really sure about the target market of the Spotify car thing, I decided to do my own research just to see what the market was like. So it turns out in the US, the average age of a car is 12 years old. So there actually are quite a few people who have cars from the mid 2000s that don't yet have a built-in infotainment system. Further, as of 2019, there were about 284 and a half million cars registered in the US. So as a very modest estimate, we can guess that approximately 142 million registered cars could be eligible for something like the Spotify car thing. So if we assume that maybe 50% of those car owners are interested in a music streaming app and knowing that 35% of the music streaming market share is owned by Spotify, we can guess that there might be about 25 million car owners that would be interested in purchasing the Spotify car thing product. So there definitely is a market for the Spotify car thing, which I was skeptical about uh, as I first heard about the Spotify car thing, but there are definitely people out there who want something that can help them stream music easily in their car. Now, the one thing that I'm still unsure about is the future of the Spotify car thing, because again, each year, more and more cars are going to have infotainment systems and a higher and higher percentage of car owners will have something that's comparable to the Spotify car thing. And I'm not sure Spotify is confident on the future of the car thing either, because they are rolling it out in a really strategic and mitigated way. So they are first releasing it to a small set of beta 
beta users right now. You can actually get on the wait list to try and become a beta user if you so please. And they aren't even really announcing when a publicly available release of this product would be. And this is a brilliant way to roll out products, whether you're rolling out physical products or digital products. And rolling out features to a small set of people allows you to release iteratively and it reduces any risk that you would be building a full-fledged feature that doesn't actually provide value to the market and therefore wouldn't actually sell. So I really do like the rollout strategy of the Spotify car thing. Now, I also think this is a really interesting move for Spotify because they did have lower earnings in Q1 2021 than was expected. And this could be because people are starting to head back into the office, have more in-person interactions, and they may not need as much of a streaming service because they're spending more time with other humans. So. I think it's interesting that Spotify is thinking about creating this car thing product because they are anticipating that people will be in their car more, either driving to the office or driving to appointments or social engagements. So I think it's a very interesting move. I'm really excited to see where this product takes them. These cookies also look absolutely divine. Oh my gosh. Mm. I hope you like this segment because I really like the idea of baking and then eating my things after I record. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please press the thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to hear more content from me, please subscribe. Thank you so much for listening. We'll stay tuned to see what Spotify does and I will talk to you next time. Bye friends.